there can be a pretty significant feeling of paralysis when you are navigating grief. And it can be really difficult to try to figure out what you're supposed to do next. And so let's walk together and I'll share with you a tool that you can use when you are feeling stuck. Hey friend, welcome back to Grief Questions Answered. I'm Eric and it's my goal with these videos to share everything I've learned about how to survive, find support in the loneliness of grief and how to eventually get up and live beyond the loss of a loved one. If this grief tip doesn't help you today, I am confident it can and will help you at some point in the future, so be sure to save this video to watch later on. Today's video and question comes from Laura, who asked me, what am I gonna do? And the second I saw that question, I was reminded of my early grief with losing my daughter Zoe which has been 10 years now, by the way. And I remember sitting in my therapist's office a few months after Zoe died, and I asked her the same question. What am I gonna do? And she said, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna get up in the morning, you're gonna get dressed, you're gonna have breakfast, you're gonna drive to the commuter rail, you're gonna get on the train, you're gonna work, you're gonna come home from work, you can have dinner, maybe exercise, work out, then you're gonna to go to bed, and the next day you're gonna do the same thing over and over again until that feels like something normal for you. And when she shared that with me, it made sense because this goes back to my original statement about this video is that there is a massive sense of paralysis that happens when we're grieving because we don't know what to do next. But I'd like to offer Laura and everybody watching this video a few things that you can do when you aren't sure what to do next. And it starts with what I'm doing right now. I'm walking and I'm talking. I'm moving. Movement and meaning are inextricably, inextricably linked. As Ivan Terrell says in his book, The Human Givens, I have found so much clarity in just walking. Why? Because that motion tells your brain that you're not stuck. And while I'm not suggesting that you're gonna solve your grief on a walk, but over time, this consistent movement is something that you get used to and you want more of it. And the more that you can move, the more clarity you will glean, okay? That's the first thing to do. The next thing to do is to go easy on yourself. You're grieving. You've lost somebody. It's out of your control. This situation is not normal for us. It's our natural response to loss, to grieve, but it's really difficult. And so it's okay for us to go easy on ourselves as we figure out this path and this journey. And there's no one right way to do this, except for the one way that works for you. Okay, and the final thing I wanna share in this video is that unfortunately, nobody else is coming to help us with this. This is a very personal experience, yet you are not alone in this. Hopefully these videos have shown you that there's a lot of similarities in our grieving experiences. So it's really important for us to take advantage of communities and groups, whether in person or online, to help us navigate support. And what's really interesting is this past weekend, as I'm doing some research for my upcoming TEDx talk, I came across an article that was written by some doctors who were sharing that 
it seems that support is often available to us in great quantities as we're navigating our grief, at least at the very early part of our grief. But then as time goes by, that support seems to fall away. People go back to their lives. People assume that because you're not reaching out to them or that you're not talking about your grief, that you're okay now. But we know differently, don't we? We know that this is a process that takes months, if not years. And so it's really important for us to connect with others who get us. And it doesn't matter if that connection is temporary, doesn't matter if that connection creates a, a lifetime of friendship. I have met so many wonderful new people in the last 10 years. And I feel like it's a gift that was left behind after Zoe died. And so Laura, I hope this helps. If you have a question about grief that I can answer for you, comment below and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Just click that subscribe button down below as this is the best way to get notified of new videos just like this and to show support for the channel. So let's continue to walk together and I'll see you in next week's video.